hi guys jennifer here welcome back to my channel i am sharing today a box here that i received from anna griffin and it is the anna griffin create crop at home four and i decided to go ahead and give this a try this year i have always wanted to do um, one of her like crop at homes and her create uh yeah so she does one crop at home for scrapbooking and then one of the um create so you do cards and 3d things so in here you get a really pretty envelope and inside it says welcome to the fourth annual anna griffin create crop at home and it has, um, I guess you get a pen with this. So the pen has all that information and then it has the agenda. So that's really cool. So it's a, th a three day event and there's a lot of prepping that I have to do. So I, I was not going to do it because I had that craft fair, but then I was like, oh man, I just really, really wanted to try this. And I have, and I just, the papers, I just could not, not get them. I mean, especially this one. This was my favorite. It's the Phoebe collection. And I'm hoping that uh, we can get more papers of this because it is just beautiful. Anyway, this is the 12 by 12 album. It has 10 pages in it. It is a three ring binder. I have seen some unboxings before, so I'm not gonna open this, but this is there's a pocket inside that you can put a pretty picture in there. Then, you know, you slide in the pages. So we'll be doing our 12 by 12 layouts. And I have been wanting to do my wedding pictures and some other things. I'm not sure yet, but I am gonna be gathering those up this week. So you get several things. Um, you get these tools, which are dies. So I'll go ahead and open that. So you get these 12 inch border dies and they go with the frames. So you get, uh, I think four frames in here. I'll open that in just a minute. Uh, but these are really pretty. So you have an inner layer and an outer layer if you want to do, you know, a different color on both. So you get four sets of these frame dies and they go with these pretty uh, borders. Yeah. So this is a scallop right here, and it goes with that scalloped edge. And so we'll be doing some really pretty layouts with these dies. Always comes with a nice sample sheet. I'm super excited and nervous at the same time, but I think I'm more excited. So this is the Phoebe collection and I will go ahead and open that and show you the papers and the flowers, the borders. So I'll be doing some die cutting ahead of time and that will just make everything go easy when the classes are live. So the classes are live and it's a three day event. So, these are the beautiful gold foil embellishments and there are lots of leaves and swirls and oh my gosh just beautiful elements i'm not sure if you guys want me to open these or not but um here's some beautiful flowers from the collection I can go ahead and open these. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. The colors are just so pretty. 
Aren't they gorgeous? So I think you get like four of each. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's prettier in person. Wow. I was like in awe when I saw it on HSN. I had it on HSN and you know, they offer it in payments so it makes it affordable for people that can't afford a big you know, one payment type thing. So that's kind of what made me feel like, oh yeah, let me let me go ahead and do that. Cut this open here. And I've always wanted to do this, but it was always like a, not a convenient time to do it. This year I was like, I'm going to do it. Isn't this paper just fabulous? Let me get that side. These are all the same. Okay, yeah, you get five, six of these. Oh wait, that has a blue background. Okay, so this has the cream background, and then this has like a, more like a gray background. Let's see what's on this side. Ooh, look at that, pretty gold foil. And it has a little bit of lavender in here. Lavender gold foil. Very pretty. And then this beautiful pattern. Oh my gosh. This is just so up my alley. It is just perfection. Really beautiful paper. And then here is a pretty lavender paper. And this with the feathers. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. So it looks like there's four of each at this time. And this is a pretty, like, French blue-gray. Gosh, it's gorgeous. And then here's the feathers. Oh my goodness, the patterns on here are amazing. Oh my gosh really pretty and then this side is really pretty as well oh my goodness love this collection there hasn't been like a collection that i was just like head over heels over but i feel like i kind of am on this one i especially this paper right here is just like my favorite look at the pink Oh my goodness, and then this side. Okay, so those are the papers for the Phoebe collection. And then these are going to be like words on the page, and then the borders, the beautiful flowers, and the beautiful embellishments. You guys, I haven't scrapbooked in forever, so this is going to be really cool because she has all of the layouts ready and I don't have to think about anything, which is really awesome. <laughs> so this is such a cool collection and this one was called Faded Rose. And it's basically like grays and creams, tans, and sepia tones. Oh, such a cool thing. I'm going to open these borders. This would be cool for like either wedding or like vintage photos. And I have been like going through all of my old photos and organizing them. 
and I have some of the family. Oh God, that border is stunning. And this one, the gold foiling. Oh, did I miss one? Oh yeah, this one. That gold foiling and then this pattern is so pretty too. So these are the florals in the collection. You have the sepia tones and then the, like the gray tones. Then you have this, these pretty words and there's two pages in here, it looks like. And then these can go on the page as well. And then you get these beautiful gold and then you have a champagne. So, kind of curious to see those champagne ones. Look how gorgeous the champagne ones are. Not that the gold are not gorgeous either, but champagne is like literally my favorite of the metallics. Okay, I'm going to open this so you can see the papers of the faded rose. Gosh, I just want to get some more of these papers. They're so pretty. So vintage. Do I have it upside down? I feel like I do. Yeah, that looks better. Yummy. And then this side. Very cool. I love these neutral tones. And this one, look at all those vintage florals, and then this side, I think I got one under there, and this one is like a taupe color with a cream background. And then the gold foil. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, I definitely want some more of these beautiful papers. And this one has like, hmm, like a taupe gray, maybe like more of a, I don't know, can't really tell. I thought that was a taupe gray. And then this is this side. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous stuff. Oh my gosh. And then and this gorgeous paper. Look at the gold foiling on that. And oh my gosh, there's gold foiling on the side too. Ooh, that's going to be tough. But you know, if you're sliding it in your page, you can decorate the uh, you know both sides so that might be what we're doing i'm not sure i've watched some of the class uh preparation videos but i do have a lot of cutting to do in preparation for the classes so hopefully i can get it all done this week this has this uh, gray background the gold foiling So pretty. Lots of gold foiling in this. Love it. Look at that. It's like a sepia of the other one. So pretty. Loving this. Oh, that looks like it's 3D almost, but it's not. <laughs> such a cool pattern oh my goodness look at that wow it's really stunning this paper line Woo. man I, I'm not sure which one of the two I like better this one is super gorgeous Okay, so the next collection is called Virginia. Isn't that pretty? 
Oh my. I am super excited to play with this one as well. So that's the cool thing is that I actually really do like all of the collections. The first two are probably my favorite though. Let's open these. Okay, so these are the borders with the flowers. And you have the green ones. And the beautiful vintage rose on that one with the blue and there's gold foiling. And here's the pink. Oh my goodness. So it looks like you get a ton of flowers. Wow, that is a lot of flowers. And then you get like corners and these beautiful flourishes. You get butterflies and birds and all kinds of beautiful gold foil items. And then you get the gold foil words. All right, let's look at this paper. Let's look at these papers. Not this one. Okay, let me turn that around. I think it goes that way. That is really pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, stunning. This is more of like the gray tones with the pink and the yellow flowers. Oh, did I even look at the back? Yes, I looked at the back on that one, but not this one. Oh, I love damask pattern. It's so pretty. Oh, this is cute. Little flowers and pinks with a gray background. And like these are like almost teal teal-ish leaves. And then here's the back of that one. Mm, just beautiful. Okay. Then you have that same pattern in this pretty green. And then this in the green. look like little doilies. So cute with the X's and then OMG that beautiful pattern. My goodness it's gorgeous. So you have that in that pretty pink and green. That's a really pretty green. Oh wow, look at that side. It's got the foiling on it around the flowers. So you have a blue gray background with like kind of a mustardy color. And these pink flowers. Oh, look how pretty that is. Beautiful shades of pink in this one. Very similar, but this is more on the green side. And then you have this pattern again in a different, I think the background's a little bit different color. And then you have this beautiful two-tone green. And that's it. So those are the gorgeous Virginia papers. All of the beautiful embellishments to go with. So I did this, guys, because I really want to have a beautiful album for my family photos. Look at this beautiful box. Oh my gosh. This pattern is just stunning. And, and this is a huge box. 
So from what I hear, they're going to be doing some interactive pages. So I bought these um, interactive panels and these go on top of the 12 by 12 that's in the book and they open out or up or however you want it. So you can make flips and flaps and then you can tuck your page into that. So those are some of the cutting things we have to do to, to fit into different sizes on that last one. Okay, so this is called swag. <laughs> All right, so these are the beautiful matte foil gold papers. These are all of them. Love that. And then you have some lavender foil, matte foil. And then, oh yeah, these are all of the um, pretty matte foils. Oh, so that must be the champagne. So you can kind of tell the difference in the gold and the champagne. It's very subtle, but I can definitely tell. And then the pink foil. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you get four colors there and then the golds. And then you get some ribbons in green and cream. These are the journaling spots that you would journal your pages, your photos. And then these So these papers are lightweight, terrible, like you can tear them, you can fold them. They're um, nice and thin so that you can do all of those fun techniques that she does with um, the folds. And so you get, oh, that's cool looking. These are single sided and they're they're not scrapbook paper, so that makes them easy to manipulate. So she's got some ideas, I'm sure, for this. Let me get this. Gorgeous. Oh my God, that pattern. Let's see. Is there four of those? Yeah. And then this beautiful rose pattern. And gosh, these are so yummy. And this beautiful blue gray. Oh, that French blue is stunning. He's back. All right, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. I didn't go into too much detail because honestly, I would have been, it would have been an hour long video and I'm not sure that anybody is interested in that. But then this gorgeous album. So it has the pages inside like that and it's a three ring binder. So very cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I am determined to get projects done for this. So I will be back and show you what I created. And um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.